was the talk of the town when an 80-year-old man married a 20-year-old girl. After a year, she went to a hospital to give birth. The nurse came out to congratulate the guy. This is amazing. How do you do it at your age? He answered, you've got to keep that old motor running. The following year, she gave birth again. The same nurse said, you really are amazing. How do you do it? He again said, you've got to keep the old motor running. The same thing happened the next year. The nurse said, you must be quite a man. He responded, you've got to keep that old motor running. The nurse said, well, you had better change the oil. This one's black. <laughs> Groom and bride went to their honeymoon. But the bride was very shy and did not want others to know that she is on honeymoon. So when she and her husband pulled up to the hotel, she asked him if there was any way that they could make it appear that they had been married a long time. He responded, sure, you carry the suitcases. <laughs> a man and a woman are at a bar having a few beers. They start talking and soon realize they're both doctors. After an hour, the man says, hey, how about if we go home together tonight? No strings attached. The woman doctor agrees to it. They go back to her place and he goes into the bedroom. She goes into the bathroom and starts scrubbing like she's about to go into the operating room. She scrubs for a good 10 minutes. At last, she goes into the bedroom and they have sex. Afterward, the man says, You're a surgeon, aren't you? Yes, says the woman. How did you know? I could tell by the way you scrubbed up before we started. He says, that makes sense, says the woman. You're an, an atheist, aren't you? Yeah, how did you know? Asks the man. The woman replies, because I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> Mandel was very old and suffering from a rare disease and could only drink human milk. How can I get human milk? Mandel asked the doctor. Well, Ruby Finkenstein has just had a baby, maybe she'll help. So every day Mendel went to Ruby's house for his daily feed. Ruby was a dark-eyed, big-breasted lady who in spite of herself gradually became aroused as Mendel lapped at her right breasts. One day as he quietly lay silent, she whispered to him, Tell me Mendel, do you like it? Mmm, wonderful. He sighed, is there... She hesitated, her lips parted, eyes glowed. Is there anything else you'd like? As a matter of fact, there is, murmured Mandel. What? Ruby asked breathlessly. Mandel licked his lips and said, maybe a little cookie. <laughs> a man on a business trip is staying in a high-rise hotel with a bar on the top floor. After checking in and seeing his room, decides to go upstairs. There's only one other patron in the bar. The businessman orders a drink and then watches in surprise as the other patron quickly eats an orange, chugs his beer, and jumps out the window. A minute later, the man returns. The businessman is shocked to see him again eat an orange, chug his beer, and then jump out the window. When the man returns a third time, the businessman decides he can do this too. He eats an orange, chugs his beer, then jumps out the window to his death. The bartender turns to the man and says, You know, Superman, you're a real jerk when you're drunk. There are three women who always hang their laundry out in the back garden. When it rains, of course, the laundry always gets wet. All the laundry except for Brenda's. The other two women wonder why Brenda never has her laundry out on the days that it rains. So one day they are all out in their back gardens putting their clothes on the line. When one of the women says to Brenda, how come when it rains, your laundry is never out? Well, says Brenda, when I wake up in the morning, I look over at Paul, my husband. If his p is hanging over his right leg, 
I know it's going to be a great day and I can hang the laundry outside. If his prick is hanging over his left leg, I know it's going to rain, so I don't hang it out. What if it's pointed up? asks one of the women. Well, says Brenda, on a day like that you don't do the laundry. A girl named Mary is in line to go to heaven and while she's at the pearly gates talking to St. Peter, she hears a drill and then a scream. She asks, what's that? St. Peter replies, oh, that's just an angel getting her halo fitted. The woman thinks about it and then starts to talk to him again. Then she hears another scream and asks, what's that? St. Peter smiles and says, that's just an angel getting her wings fitted. She says, f*** this, I'm going to hell. St. Peter says, but they r you and so is you there. She just smiles and says, at least I have the holes for that. <laughs> old retirees were talking about naughty acts in a cafe. When they finished, the two retirees paid their bill and leave the cafe. A young man sitting next to them has overheard the conversation and smiles to himself, thinking it would be quite amusing to see two old retirees going at it. He gets up and follows them. Sure enough, he sees the two old retirees near the factory. The little old lady pulls off her panties and lifts up her dress. The old man pulls down his pants and grabs the lady's hips, and the little old lady then reaches for the fence. Well, what follows is 40 minutes of the most athletic the man has ever seen. The little old man is banging away at the little old woman at a pace that only can be described as phenomenal. Limbs are flying everywhere, the movement is a blur, and they do not stop for a single round. Finally, they collapse and don't move for an hour. The man is stunned. Never in his life has he ever seen anything that equates to this. Not in the movies. Not from his friends. Not from his own experiences. Reflecting on what he has just seen, he says to himself, I have to know his secret. If only I could like that now, let alone in 50 years time. The two old retirees have by this time recovered and dressed themselves. Gathering the courage, he approaches the older man. He says, Sir, in all my life I have never seen anybody like that, particularly at your age. What's your secret? Could you screw like that 50 years ago? The retiree replies, son, 50 years ago that f fence wasn't electric. <laughs> A guy goes to the post office to interview for a job. The interviewer asks him, are you a veteran? The guy says, why yes, in fact, I served two years in Vietnam. Good, says the interviewer, that counts in your favor. Do you have any service-related disabilities? The guy says, in fact, I am 100% disabled. During a battle, an explosion removed my private parts, so they declared me disabled. It doesn't affect my ability to work though. I'm sorry to hear about the damage, but I have some good news for you. I can hire you right now. Our work hours are 8 to 4. Come on in about 10 and we'll get you started. The guy says if working hours are from 8 to 4, why do you want me to come at 10? Well, here at the post office, we don't do anything but sit around and scratch our butt for the first two hours. We don't need you here for that. <laughs> Two young boys, both from well-to-do families, were talking. The first boy says, our new French maid is a robot. The second boy replies, a robot? Maids aren't robots. The first boy again says, but ours is. I overheard my dad telling one of his golf buddies that he s*** her ass off every Saturday. <laughs>